Today we're going to be talking about optical fiber. Optical fiber plays an important role in today's society. It allows us to connect through the internet. All piece of information we're receiving on the internet is most likely going through optical fiber. Around a quarter of American homes now get their internet directly from optical fiber. But even if you don't, the optical fiber that we see here is what carries signals between continents underneath the ocean and allows us to communicate with people worldwide. When we think about modern optical fiber, like many things, we have to consider what material will give us the best properties. We have glassy silica, which when we zoom in, the atoms are chaotically organized. You can heat up the bottom and start drawing it into a fiber. And so this is an example of a preform being drawn into a fiber. When we think about fiber, right, we have to think about what properties are we trying to get to. Light has to be able to be send the data from one side of the ocean to the other. We want to put the signal, the data, in this side, and we still want it to be communicated out this side. So when we do this, you can see once again that it bounces around the curve. So this is total internal reflection. Our light is staying inside because we are able to have sufficient angles to keep the information communicated. Then the other property we have to really worry about is the strength of the fiber. How much force can we put on the fiber before it breaks? If we consider the surface of a glass, it's pushing together. It's pushing the surface together. And that means that it takes a lot of force to rip open the surface. So if we look at this Prince Rupert stream, we've got this compressive layer on the outside from cooling it quickly while the inside's still cooling down. And so this outside, this bulb, is incredibly strong. Maybe you've seen some YouTube videos where people have done amazing things with Prince Rupert's stream. So if we think about optical fiber, right, this is an incredibly technology. You might be thinking, well, it's done, you know, we figured it. No, not at all. It's still growing. By 2027, the market of optical fiber is supposed to be worth nine billion US dollars. We're laying 150 million miles of fiber every year. This is only growing, right? And this is what we, some would consider first generation or second generation of this technology. Anybody who can invent a better optical fiber will be worth billions of dollars. Stay tuned for next time on How It's Made.